How much does a DCF lawyer in a DCF investigation in Massachusetts cost? The cost of a DCF lawyer involved in a Massachusetts DCF investigation can range around $5,000. This means from soup to nuts, A to Z, the investigation was gonna take approximately about a month and a half from start to finish to get over. And that, what I charge is usually a flat rate. And why is that? Because a flat rate's in the client's best interest, not the lawyer. When you do an hourly billing rate, or what's called a retainer, you pay one amount. And when that retainer is diminished, you have to replenish it with the money again. Then the lawyer bills against that. I don't like that because then you don't know how much you're paying. I like a flat fee so my clients know exactly what they're getting all the time. They know exactly what they're paying. They know they're paying a flat fee for a result because life should be result oriented. If you're successful, then you're going to get these. You have to unsupport the case during the 51B investigation. And if you're successful, you're paid one amount, one fee. And then you eliminate a conflict. What do I mean by that? If I send you a bill, you don't like it, you're gonna mistrust and distrust me. However, if we just do one flat rate, I lower my head, my clients lower their head, and we just go fight DCF. There's an argument about money or how much, or when are you gonna pay me, or when you replenish that, the retainer's diminished. I don't agree with that. What was this for? How much did I pay that? You're chatting me for my phone calls, my emails, my fax, showing up in person, and to me, when you're paying by the hour, the client's gonna pause, hesitate, and tap the brakes before they send you an email, call you, send you a fax, send you a letter, or come in person. Now, I recently had a client who was in court, and she was with one of her girlfriends, and she saw her lawyer before me, obviously. And this is what led her to come see me. I said hello to the lawyer, and that month's bill, he billed me for saying hello to him in court. I said, you're kidding me. She says, no. She says, that's why I'm here, Kevin, I want a flat fee. I want to pay one amount, I want to be able to call you when I want, how I want. Now add to that, that I give every one of my clients my personal direct cell phone. I even give it to some clients that are not even a client yet. Because how you treat your clients up front is how you will treat them at the end. If the relationship is like dating, if it's not good in the beginning, don't get better over time. So make sure that you get a lawyer that treats you well right from the first communication all the way to the end. And so with that said, I suggest strongly do a flat fee. And why do I say that? Well, most lawyers that do hourly billings because that's the way it's always been done. Well, if that's the case, we'd still be riding hustle and buggy rather than going to Mars with Elon Musk. Let's join the 21st century here, folks. That's just crazy talk. You should know what you're paying for for your lawyer, period. Everything else in life you know what you're paying for. You know what your house costs. You know what your car costs. You know what that dress cost you just bought, or the pair of shoes? You know what that meal you just paid for, how much it cost? Why should lawyers not have a flat fee so you know what they're paying? Last but not least, if you have a flat fee, you can budget for it. How do you budget for a retainer? And you have no control over the lawyer's bill. You have no idea what the lawyer's gonna bill you, and how much, and for how long. And if the lawyer makes a mistake, who eats it? Well, with an hourly fee agreement, the lawyers make some mistakes, something they should have taken 20 minutes, took, you know, four hours. They're billing you. On a flat fee, if I make a mistake with a flat fee, and I make a mistake, something that should have taken me 20 minutes, took me four hours, I eat that. So you know, if you get a flat fee, you've got a lawyer that's competent as well as confident. Because you better be. Because if you're a great lawyer, and you've got a flat fee, then you know your stuff. And why do you know your stuff? Because you better have great confidence and competency to give a flat fee. That's all there is to it. Because if you are inept and you're lazy, you're not hard working, you will not get the case closed. And you will pay a very high consequence as a lawyer. So lawyers have incentives with a flat fee. Get it over with. You sign a flat fee with me, I want your case closed yesterday. And that's what you're paying for. You're paying for a result. It's like you're paying me to build that house. You're not paying me for how many months it takes me to build that house. You're paying for me to build that house as quick, as fast, and as properly as I can. Just like with DCF, you're paying me to get DCF in your life and out of your life. So you can be in a DCF free zone, so you don't have to do monthly visits and listen to any more of their requests. You wanna move on. Government and DCF free. So you can live your life as you wanna live your life without government interference. That's the result you want. Simple stuff, DCF made simple.